Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So winter is upon us. It is here in Ohio. And one of the things that I like to do with my knives um, for carrying them during the winter time is to make a baldric rig. And what I, the way I do this is, it's very cheap. It's very effective. Um, it's something you can do quite easily just with paracord. You don't need any fancy straps or leather or anything like that and you can add this to any of your knife sheaths and it works equally as well. So I'm going to show you how to tie the knots for it and then I'll show you um, how I wear it in the field and, and see what you think. So before we get started with the night knot tying, here is a more companion hanging on my person right now. And when you do this correctly and you hang this on you, it's going to be basically like a holster and it's going to allow the knife to hang by your side so that when you're wearing a heavy jacket, you can actually get to your knife and pull it out easily instead of fumbling around trying to get it from underneath your jacket when it's hanging on your belt. So stick around. We're going to get into it and uh, see what you guys think. All right, so here's my baldric rig that I've uh, set up. And this is a pretty simple and effective way of carrying a knife when you have to have a lot of layers on. And you don't want your belt knife on your waist where you're trying to dig through you know, your parka, your anorak, or whatever else you're wearing. And like today, I'm wearing this pullover. And it's a little bit more difficult to get to my belt knife because it's covering it up. So if I switch to this type of rig where I'm carrying it on my chest, it just makes getting to my knife a lot easier um, when I'm trying to do tasks in the woods. So let me show you what I've got here and how simple this thing really is. Now what I like to set mine up is with is uh, paracord. I like the paracord because it's light, it's simple, and it's very easy to adjust, and it doesn't take a lot of gear. Now, I've set up other Baldrick rigs with nylon straps from my Mora uh, cans bowl, but for this Mora Companion, uh, which I have in a JRE sheath, uh, it lends itself well to just running some paracord through it. And it's so simple, uh, it's stupid. And here's the system that I use. You can see this thing getting smaller and it's actually lengthening the cord and it's getting tighter. And what this is, this is a double fisherman's knot. And if you're unfamiliar with the double fisherman's knot, it's a great way of joining uh, two ends of rope together. And it works great with paracord. And what it does is it gives you an ability to adjust paracord with one piece. There's no other knots. There's no separate pieces, it's one continuous strand, or one strand of paracord, I should say. And then by tying a double fisherman's knot, I'm able to shorten it until those knots lock. See that? Or I can easily loosen it and make it shorter, and now I have a little bit of a wider strap. And then what this does is this actually just goes around my neck and then around one of my shoulders and then the knife sheath dangles by my side, pretty much underneath my underarm. That way I can grab it and pull it out easily and sheath the knife just as easily without digging around underneath my jacket. <clears throat> For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you how to tie it on this cord. So real simple, what you do is you take your two ends of your, of your paracord and you have them run parallel to each other facing the opposite direction. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to take the tail end and it's going to be on top. We're going to go around once and make sure you give yourself enough tail to, to actually tie this. Once, twice, more times, you, more wraps you do the stronger it gets. Three, and then what we're going to do is, on this third wrap, it's actually going to go back in and under those loops. If I can get it here. 
Oops. All right, there we go. And then just pull that tail end nice and tight. Okay. Now, here's the trick to this, tying this knot. Before you tie this end, you're going to flip it. You're going to flip the whole, all your work over. Give yourself enough end here, because I almost didn't have enough on the last one. So it's once, and then cross over. I'm going to run out of room again here. Let's do a little bit more. One, cross over, back again. Tail end goes back underneath those two loops that we just created. There we go. We got enough on the end of this one. Probably too much now, right? Pull that tight. Now what happens is the reason I flipped it over because when you pull this tight, these two knots are going to lock. You see that? But it's very tight. Really, I mean, this is super secure. There's no way this thing's going to come loose. But with my fingernails, I can pull it apart and now I can adjust my rig. And that is how you tie the double fisherman's knot. See how this hangs nicely at my side. Straight up and down, I can easily find it, withdraw the knife, put it back in the sheath safely. I'm not worrying about cutting into my clothes because that is a, a concern when you start wearing a lot of layers. If you're trying to fumble around with a knife and put it back into a sheath, there's a good potential you're going to cut into your jacket and that's going to be a problem. So I think having the baldric really is a great way to carry a knife in the winter time. You know, with the uh, temperatures dropping here quickly, this is going to be my preferred carry method for a lot of my blades uh, if I can do it. So I hope you found this useful. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.